the U.S. nuclear-powered submarine fleet, as far as I know, is far superior to anything the Chinese Navy can put to sea. On the other hand, the numbers within the U.S. nuclear-powered submarine fleet are decreasing. So while uh, a, a U.S. submarine is going to be uh, far more capable than a Chinese submarine, numbers do count in the final analysis. China, for a long time, had no capacity to strike at the United States with nuclear weapons. It wasn't until the 1980s that they began to deploy a small number of weapons capable of hitting the United States. It may have been a couple dozen. In the last 10 years or so, and now we're seeing increasingly, uh, China is expanding their nuclear force. The Chinese have finally, after many years of trying, have finally developed what appears to be a working ballistic missile submarine, SSBN. An SSBN is a nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine. We call them, in the Navy, we call them boomers. That is, nuclear submarines capable of, of uh, firing nuclear weapons. Uh, they had one crappy old one back in the 1970s that uh, was built in the wake of the Cultural Revolution when it was, a bad, when, when it was thought to be a good idea to, uh, to, uh, to, to, to kill or to imprison or what have you, anybody with any scientific and technical expertise. Not, not usually a smart thing to do if you, want to build a, if you want to go into naval nuclear propulsion and nuclear weapons, these very highly technical fields. So that, that, that thing never made a deployment and uh, it it's, uh, never will at this point. But they finally have gotten over this hump, it appears, and have developed a working SSBN. We see uh, brand new ballistic missile submarines. In fact, two new classes of ballistic missile submarines are coming online. So that it now appears it will be able to field a credible nuclear striking force from its submarines. And remember, the huge advantage of nuclear boats is they don't have to surface or snorkel. And endurance is a huge advantage. The advantage to their new submarine base at Sanya on Hainan Island is that almost as soon as you leave harbor, you, the water goes down to 2,000 feet. So you can submerge very quickly and thus increase your covertness. Chinese strategists believe that even if one nuclear missile can destroy, say, Seattle or Los Angeles, that that would represent unacceptable harm to the other side and therefore would deter the other side from conducting that first nuclear strike in the first place. In October 2013, Chinese state media across all the major platforms boasted about how Chinese submarines with ballistic missiles could launch nuclear warheads against the United States and kill tens of millions of Americans. If we did something comparable in the United States, the Chinese and the rest of the world would be outraged. So why are we not concerned? Why don't we pay any attention to the Chinese threatening to kill America?